to Miss Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 actors who got different movie roles than they auditioned for. Mystery princess. I got a charming notion. Um, I must have been one of the only, well, the only child out of 20,000 that had no idea what <laughs> Harry Potter was. It's kind of scary how everybody's got a little story to tell. For this list, we're looking at actors who thought they were right for one role, but ended up landing another in the same movie. Do you think the casting directors made the right call? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Lily James, Cinderella. This actress got her big movie break playing the titular character in this classic fairy tale. Wouldn't you prefer to eat when all the work is done, Ella? Or should I say Cinderella? However, when James first auditioned for Cinderella, she had her sights set on the wicked stepsister, Anastasia. During her audition, she also asked to read for the role of Ella. She joked that it was her blonde hair that helped director Kenneth Branagh see her as the movie's protagonist. However, if you ask him, he'd tell you that it was her lightness of spirit that won him over. Will you take me as I am? An honest country girl who loves you. Of course I will. This Cinderella needed to be compassionate, feisty, and in charge of her own destiny, and Lily James fit the bill perfectly. They're all looking at you. Believe me, they're all looking at you. Number 9, Orlando Bloom, the Lord of the Rings franchise. Imagine being a few days shy of college graduation and then landing a role in a major movie franchise. Shall I describe it to you? Or would you like me to find you a box? Well, that's pretty much what happened to this actor. When Bloom first auditioned for the popular fantasy trilogy, he read for the role of Boromir's brother, Faramir. But it seems like director Peter Jackson saw him as a different character entirely. Still, before he was officially cast as Legolas, rumour had it that a more established actor, Jude Law, would appear in the role. A red sun rises. Blood has been spilled this night. As we now know, this wasn't the case, and we wouldn't picture it any other way. Talk about a lucky break. I still only count as one! Number 8, Ashley Green, The Twilight Saga. As any fan of the movies know, Jackson Rathbone and Ashley Green play vampire couple Jasper Hale and Alice Cullen. Now oh, she's seen me come, of course. You kept me waiting long enough. But if things had gone a little differently during auditions, they could have played another set of Twilight lovebirds instead. Rathbone originally auditioned for Edward, while Green wanted to play Bella. Oh, you do smell good. Alice, what are you- It's okay. Bella and I are gonna be great friends. She said that after reading the first book, she fell in love with the story and was gutted when she lost out on the part. Luckily, opportunity came a knock in once again when she was asked to read for Alice. After several callbacks, she booked the job. So everything worked out in the end. Please, I'm not offended by your choice of girl. Number seven, James Franco, Spider-Man Trilogy. Franco was initially up for the part of Peter Parker and had actually made it quite far through the audition process too. Understandably, he was disappointed when ultimately he didn't get the job. Instead, the gig went to Tobey Maguire. Stings, doesn't it? I protected you in high school, now I'm gonna kick your little ass. <sighs> However, that wasn't the end of the spidey road for Franco either. Clearly, he made an impression on director Sam Raimi, who offered him the part of Harry Osborn, Peter's best friend turned mortal enemy after embodying Green Goblin. You knew this was coming, Pete. Sometimes things simply work out exactly how they were meant to be. This was the film that put Franco on the map and helped his career take off. Well, I'll be rich. No, it's not about the prizes, Harry. Number 6, Shannon Doherty, Heathers. Several actors turned down any involvement in this cult classic due to its dark content. However, Shannon Doherty was keen to read for the part of Veronica Sawyer, only to learn that Winona Ryder had already been cast. Veronica, you look like hell. Yeah, I just got back. Instead, she was asked to read for Heather Chandler, a queen bee so vicious that she makes Regina George look like an angel. So what are you gonna do, Heather? Take the two shots or send me out? Did you have a brain tumor for breakfast? But Doherty was more attracted to the role of Heather Chandler's devious right-hand woman, Heather Duke. She loved the character's journey from a meek follower to an iron-fisted dictator. Heather, why can't you just be a friend? Why are you such a mega bitch? Because I can be. 
Doherty nailed her audition, cementing her position as one of the cruelest mean girls in movie history. Number 5. Liam Hemsworth, The Hunger Games franchise. Happy Hunger Games. And may the odds be ever in your favour. Before being cast as the sharp-minded Peter, Josh Hutcherson was up against two of his future castmates for the role. Alexander Ludwig, who ended up playing antagonist Cato, and Liam Hemsworth, now known for playing Gale, one third of the central love triangle. I knew you'd do that. How? I didn't. Because I'm in pain. That's the only way that I can get your attention. In 2011, Hemsworth told MTV that he was instantly drawn to the character as soon as he read the script. Even before he was called for an audition, he was pretty certain that he would be reading for the part of Peter. Obviously, the director Gary Ross felt that his talents were better suited to playing the action man instead. They just want a good show, that's all they want. Number 4. Tom Felton, Harry Potter franchise The actor hadn't even read the books when he decided to audition. Really? I didn't know you could read. Nevertheless, he tried out for both Harry Potter and his best friend Ron Weasley. In fact, he was very much in the running for the lead character, which of course went to Daniel Radcliffe. Still, the director saw something in the young actor and decided to cast him as Harry's foe, Draco Malfoy. You don't want to go making friends with the wrong sort. I can help you there. After catching up on the books and getting to know the character, Fulton agreed that this was the right call. We're sure you'd acknowledge that no one could play the father card quite as convincingly as Fulton's Malfoy. Oh, my father will hear about this! It's not a threat! Professor Moody! It's not a threat! Professor! Number 3. Rebel Wilson. Bridesmaids. Can you imagine anyone other than Melissa McCarthy playing quirky sis in law to be Megan? Megan! Life is gonna end life and I'm gonna bite you in the ass! <laughs> Yeah, neither can we. But did you know that Rebel Wilson was the second choice for the part? In 2021, in an interview with Sirius XM, she revealed that the character of Annie's zany roommate, Bryn, was written just for her. She impressed so much in her audition that they knew they wanted her on board. So there was never supposed to be two roommates, only one. So I just kind of added myself in, in a way, to the scenes. The movie's co-writer and star, Kristen Wiig, even gave the Aussie actor free reign to improvise, Despite being a late addition, Wilson used her comedic talents to fit seamlessly into her scenes. Hello fellas, no. here I am. Not bad for your Hollywood debut, huh? Number 2. Tom Hiddleston, Marvel Cinematic Universe The Marvel Universe is so huge that you probably won't be surprised to learn all the castings that could have been. Hurts, doesn't it? Being lied to. Being told you one thing and, and learning it's all a fiction. For example, can you picture Bucky Barnes actor Sebastian Stan as Captain America? How about Tom Hiddleston, now best known for playing the dark and devious Loki, as Thor instead? On The Tonight Show, he revealed that he never actually auditioned to play Loki, but actually read for the hammer-wielding Avenger. Wait, the remit was, if you're over six foot and you've got blonde hair and, you know, you could come and have a pop at it. So I actually auditioned, I never auditioned for Loki. I only ever auditioned for Thor. They even show never-before-seen footage of the actor's audition from 10 years earlier. After watching it back though, the actor conceded that the right casting choices had been made. I am Loki of Asgard, and I am burdened with glorious purpose. Loki! Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Lindsay Lohan Mean Girls Before being cast as new kid Katie Heron, Lindsay Lohan was super excited to play HBIC Regina George. Was I the new Queen Bee? I can try and get out of it. She wasn't the only future cast member interested in the role either. Amanda Seyfried also came close to landing the gig, but producer Lorne Michaels thought she was better suited to Karen. I'm kind of psychic. I have a bit sense. 
Johan's Regina was so powerful that they struggled to find anyone strong enough to go up against her. In the end, director Mark Waters decided to convince her to accept the leading role instead. I had to pretend to be plastic. <laughs> Buddy, you're not pretending anymore, you're plastic. Incidentally, Rachel McAdams, who plays Regina, actually auditioned to play Katie. We think that the final casting choices were so totally fetch. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.